Hello everyone. This is Xridge, and I'm outside today because I've been having some trouble with my two-week-old Linksys router. Ever since I posted my Wii review, all I've been hearing is people bitching how I should just go wireless. So about 10 days ago, I said fuck it and bought this piece of shit. It was working fine for about the first 6 or 7 days, but now it is doing nothing but disconnecting and dropping the signal. I tried updating the firmware and doing the basics, but that didn't work. So now I decided it's time to get serious and figure out what exactly is wrong with this thing. Now. When you first begin experiencing problems, I recommend looking at the box in the instructions. Windows Vista compatible. The second I saw that on the box, I should have known to just put it back. Shit. Okay, now that the initial inspection is complete, let's check out the instructions. Wow. A brochure on other Linksys products. Get that shit out of here. And why you need a CD to connect a router is beyond me. The only people I can think of that could use this are fucking noobs. Let me show you the proper way of using an installation CD for a router. There we go. I've only been at this for a minute or so, and I'm already making pretty good progress here. Okay. Now the second thing I recommend. Oh wait a minute. Check this out. Quality control okay. Give me a fucking break. Where was I? Oh yes. The second thing I recommend when you're having signal issues, is playing with the rabbit ears on the router. Now. There are a number of different instruments that us professionals use to diagnose router problems like this. I've got them laying on the ground here. I'm not saying I'll need all of these, but it's a good idea to just have them out and available in the event that you do. Sometimes the first diagnostic instrument doesn't fully do the job, so that's when we move on to the second one. As you can see here, by removing the two rabbit ears, we've eliminated one of the possible problems that could be causing our router to disconnect. So let's proceed on, shall we? Alright, there is one more test we can do that should clear things up a lot, and really pinpoint the possible problem that is causing this thing to disconnect. Very interesting. The results didn't really come out the way I expected them to, so I guess I may need to run this test again. Goddamn, I am working up a sweat here. I don't know why this isn't working, because it has held up very well, so far, to all the tests we performed. Right now I am pretty baffled, but there's one more emergency test I can do in certain circumstances like this. Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, it looks like my work here is done. Final verdict. Put Linksys products. I'm going D-Link, bitches.